So I've been thinking about what it means to have freedom of speech. Obviously, if you've listened to anything I've said at all, you know that I believe in freedom of, of speech for everybody. Not just for me, not just because I'm afraid I'm going to lose my freedom of speech, but rather for everybody. I feel like if um, we're going to care about each other, we have to give each other that kind of freedom, you know, mutual respect. There's just so many things that seem so obvious to me about why it's important to, to have freedom of speech. But yet it's like we're reinventing the wheel or something. This has been an ongoing problem since the 60s, you know. I mean, I'm not the youngest person around, you know, and, and I'm not the oldest. But I've seen this issue going on for a long time where freedom of speech is getting to be a real problem, you know. And um, in the 60s, I, I was really upset that, you know, people with uh, left-wing perspectives were not being allowed freedom of speech. And I didn't subscribe left wing or right wing back in those days. I just believed in freedom of speech, period. And, and it was almost a non-issue in my personal life. But I feel like if, uh, you know, if you take anyone's freedom of speech, you take everyone's. And, you know, I've looked at some of the arguments about whether or not to allow freedom of speech, right? And I'm sure a lot of us have given it thought in, in different ways. But, you know, one of the arguments against uh, unbridled freedom of speech is like you can't yell fire in a crowded theater because people will jump up and trample each other on the way out. And, you know, the trampling doesn't come from someone yelling fire, in my opinion. It comes from people going into mindless survival panic mode. It has nothing to do with uh, uh, freedom of speech. You know, you can, the argument has been made so many times that, uh, well, I, I guess it makes sense. I've, I've heard this so many times. I guess it makes sense, you know, that you can stop people from saying things that will cause someone to commit a crime. Well, that's ridiculous because if you prevent that freedom of speech, then what's going to happen uh, when the government says, well, okay, that's illegal that's illegal and this is illegal and pretty soon they make everything illegal and um and they encroach into our our speech on on so many levels it's a very slippery slope and you know and i, I just see no future in um bridling freedom of speech or expression it's like grow the f up you know it, it be unmessable with be unoffendable. Be willing to research things that make you extremely uncomfortable. And look at both sides of every argument, because if you don't, you don't know your own argument anyway. You know, what are you, lazy? You can't even think about what someone else thinks that doesn't agree with you. What are you, too? You know, that sort of thing. And all you can say is no. Uh, you know, one of the tools that have been used by radicals left and right has been squashing freedom of speech and expression. It's happened in lots of countries. It's happened in our country, in the U.S. I'm from the U.S. And, um, you know, but here we have it written into our codes through the Constitution and the First Amendment that we have freedom of speech and it's not going to be messed with by government. You know, and, and, but it is being messed with through health.
concerns. I mean, all, uh, half of the population is buying this, that they have a right to control our speech and the idea that it's harmful to someone else. And that's that slippery slope, you know? So if I tell you to take your vitamins to protect your immune system, that's gonna be censored. I'm gonna be put in some kind of a category of a nutcase because I believe that if you've had a particular illness that you won't get it again because you have a natural immunity to it. I don't know, this whole thing is just so bizarre to me, you know, as if we just love each other and respect each other, then we can have civil conversations. And, you know, it's going to be years before all the data is in on these medications and the like. And, but that's not even the point for me. It's just the freedom of speech, period, you know, just that. And without it, we got, we got our, our hands full of, of, with trying to have a good life, you know. People gave their lives to defend, you know, freedom of speech and freedom of expression. And so we wouldn't be tyrannized. I don't know. Now I'm just starting to go on. But I, I think we need to have free and civil discourse on, on this. So I, I want to have a Facebook Live or something where we can talk about anything. And, you know, um, I don't care what you believe. You believe in God or, or if you don't, if you're liberal or conservative, if you're Christian, Muslim or atheist, not, none of that is my concern. It's just, let's have a civil conversation about anything and everything, you know? Um, truth without compassion is cruelty. And let's quit beating each other up with our versions of the truth, you know? And uh, if there is a greater truth, then it'll come out in the wash over time. So, I don't know. Somebody said a long time ago, give peace a chance. And I always opened my heart when I heard that. But yet people are trying to beat each other up and get in each other's faces and, and st st stamp down whatever it is they don't believe in. That's not, that's not going to work. You know, you're going to end up stamping yourself down and you're opening the door to someone else doing it to you, you know. Those that live by the sword die by the sword. This is not a new concept. I love you. Pass it on. You know, be the, the reason someone feels loved today. Don't be the reason someone feels like um, they have to go to their God and say a prayer because they're scared of you. You know, or they're scared to open their mouths and they're scared they're going to go outside of their their homes and they're going to be encountered by a bunch of ruffians and bullies and you know what's it going to come down to uh dragging people out of their houses and lynching them because they don't believe the way you do we've seen those days in this country you know and uh the killing goes on it's just taking a different form you know we don't have to go down that path we were going down a really good path for, for quite a while there. And um, we can reinvigorate that. All right. Later, folks.